happy Sunday. I'm up looking at the paper and watching Stripper Bree. If you don't know who that is, maybe you can look her up. But, um, <clears throat> oh, my bad. Um, what I was going to say, I hope y'all having a great Sunday thus far. I will be live twice today. No giveaways today. It will be next week. So I hope you guys tune in and keep your notification bell on. Also, I sound kind of dry. I don't know. I've been researching and looking up my um surgery thing I want. I got my paperwork yesterday in the mail to fill out and take back kind of nervous, kind of not nervous because I've been wanting this done since I think it's been six years now and everything I've tried from cutting back uh, eating right cutting back on caffeine, sweets, chips whatever doesn't work then I hurt my knee and ever since I hurt my knee, I haven't been like energetic as I used to be. I didn't hurt my knee, I broke my knee in 2013. And I don't know, I just need a whole life change. I don't want to be in my 40s, 50s, and 60s like an old lady, and I'm not going to do that. Nope, I can't. And I'm not 400, 500 pounds. I'm just two something, and two something is enough. I don't like it. I want to be a hundred and something. I'm not even close to 300 pounds, but I want to be one something. I want to be one something, at least one, one seventy, maybe. I don't know. But as long as I ain't three or four or five something, I'm cool with it. But my goal is 170. So I think if I lose 100 and, dang, 170 pounds, I should be in it. Hit it. Or 150. I don't know, I'm calculating wrong. Next time I look at my skill, I'll. Let you know, but I don't know. That's on my mind. I gotta get this paperwork back in this week so I can get scheduled. And it's a whole process. Because I know I ain't gonna have surgery this year. Because the other person I supposed to have been had it done last year in December. As I was saying, that person, that doctor, is moved out of uh, Memphis. So. Oh, but anyway, happy Sunday to you all. Hope you all have a great day. And our president said, well, the doctor said that he is the virus free. I hope he is because you don't need to be spreading germs each and every one with these rallies going on. He really don't. He needs to start caring about people. And you know, a lot of elderly people are looking at him and you know thinking okay it's okay not to do this and it's okay not to do that because i saw one uh lady's grandfather looks up to trump he's in his 80s and he wasn't wearing a mask and he got sick and now he's dying so i don't know if y'all saw that or not on the news it's been like two weeks now She's been talking about it, but I don't know. He needs to get it, get it in order, for real. Get it in order. But, um, oh, and prayers for Louisiana. And uh, I think Texas, too, but Louisiana. Prayers for Louisiana, for real. As you know, I love the boot. I got people in the boot, so... Mm-hmm. Some of y'all don't know that. Some of y'all do. Some of y'all can't even know. 
It's my daddy's side. So it is what it is. Um, if y'all got people in the boot, y'all in the boot. Hope we got evacuated and went somewhere for real. Cause I think my people, I think they went to um, Alabama or something. They didn't come here. Well, one one person he came here. He wanted to go to the booty club. He was here way before the um the storm. So but anyway, I talk to y'all in a couple of hours when I go live. And thank y'all that came to the.